And good morning, everyone. And happy new year. What a bunch of keeners. I didn't think we'd have hardly anyone out this morning. I thought everybody would be sleeping in after being up past midnight and all the stuff that people do and everything else. And here you all are. You're full of surprises. Did anyone make a New Year's resolution? No? Bummer. So you're not a bunch of resolutionaries. I just thought of that this morning. It just came to me. That was, you know, that just kind of came there. We're, we're starting the new year off with some really bad puns. I'm just letting you know that. So uh, it's all uphill from here. All right. Uh, welcome to United in the Park, Sherwood Park United Church, and a spe special welcome to those of you joining us on YouTube. Thank you for being with us today. On this very special day, January 1st, 2023, peace be with you. Do we have any announcements or celebrations? Laurel and Gordon have retired from being here at 9 o'clock every morning since we opened. So if nobody signs up for coffee, there will be no coffee that day. No pinch hitting. And um, I thank them for their dedication. They've done a lot. And um, eventually, this task will fall to the monthly service groups whenever they get settled. In the meantime, I will continue to circulate the coffee list. Dale will continue to print up the board. I will continue to bring cream every Sunday. And Fred will um, do the grocery shopping. And um, I have a concern. We got an email this morning that the um, St. Joseph's Lutheran Church, the second little church on the road to Miquelon Lake, had a fire. So it's very devastating for the congregation. And uh, we are going to drive out there after church and have a look. And uh, I will uh, keep you updated through the newsletter. Thank you. All right. Before we have the passing of the peace, we'd like to go through the song that's going to be the callback song, because after I put it in the bulletin, I was told, we don't know that one. So since it's a new year, it's a good time to learn a new song. That's my take on it, okay? <laughs> have the passing of the peace.
my song must rise for the spirit to descend. Oh, song must rise once again, singing out God's praises and glory. The faithful voices blend. Oh, a song must rise for the spirit to descend. From the mountains to the valleys, from the desert to the sea, a song must rise once again. From the voices of our leaders, the voice of you and me, a song must rise for the spirit to descend. Oh, a song must rise for the spirit to descend. Oh, a song must rise once again. Singing out God's praises and glory, the faithful voices blend. Oh, a song must rise for the spirit to descend. <coughs> From the voice of young and old, a song must rise once again from the free and the imprisoned the timid and the bold song must rise for the spirit to descend oh a song must rise for the spirit to descend oh a song must rise once again singing out God's praises and glory the faithful voices blend oh a song must rise for the spirit to descend from every house of worship in every faith and tongue a song must rise once again from the villages and cities a new song must be sung a song must rise for the spirit to descend oh a song must rise for the spirit to descend oh a song must rise once again singing out god's praises and glory the faithful voices blend oh a song must rise for the spirit to descend we acknowledge with respect the history spirituality and culture of the peoples with whom treaty six was signed and the territory wherein our church resides we acknowledge our responsibility as treaty members and we also honor the heritage and gifts of the Métis people.
I will be writing, lighting the Christ candle this morning. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Amen? Whoever you are, and whatever you carry in your heart today, whether it be joy, stress, grief, anger, loneliness, relief, know that you are welcome here. We give thanks that Christ is born, the one in whom we put our trust and hope to show us how to live and be. This baby is a sign of God's love for us. Today is a new day. This is a new year. The presence of God's Spirit in our lives renews our dreams for a renewed world. Amen. Amen. Let us recount the gracious deeds of God, the praiseworthy acts, the mercy, the goodness, all that God has done for us. Take a deep breath in and out and feel your feet on the ground. Think back over this past year and take note of blessings in your own life and in the life of our community for which you are grateful, for which I am grateful. Let yourself be filled with gratitude. Think about what you might be ready to let go of in order to make space for something new this year. Let us name in our hearts things that we are ready to let go of. Let us name out loud or in our hearts all that we are grateful for from this past year. We will start with the opening hymn, This Little Light of Mine. of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine 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 till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine let it shine till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine let it shine till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine hide it under a bushel no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine o'er all the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine o'er all the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine o'er all the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let us pray together. Holy Wisdom, speak to us in the word read and proclaim this day. May we dream your dreams leading us to you and the possibilities of a new year. Remembering that we are forgiven and cherished through and through. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 95, and we're going to use part one of the responsive version found on page 814 in Voices United and projected on the screen. O come, let us sing to God. Let us shout with joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving. 
Let us joyously shout to God the songs of praise. <laughs> Let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before God, our Maker. For you are a great God, high sovereign above all gods. In your hand are the depths of the earth. You belong the heights of the mountains. The sea is yours, for you made it. Your hands also forged the land. You are indeed our God. We are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before God, our Maker. Amen. The Old Testament scripture reading is from the book of Ecclesiastes in chapter 3, verses 1 to 13. Everything has its time. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, I'm sorry, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. The God-given task what gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given us to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. Amen. This bit of reflection I entitled, Turn, 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 Turn. There is something appropriate and puzzling, awe-inspiring and challenging about starting the new year by looking at a passage of scripture on the subject of time. The author of this famous piece in Ecclesiastes is referred to as the teacher. The, yet the passage gives broad hints that King Solomon was, if not the author, at least its inspiration. In the 1960s, Pete Seeger wrote a song entitled Turn, 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 which was recorded by the rock group The Birds and which hit number one on the Billboard chart in 1965. How many of you remember that? Okay, then we'll sing a little bit together, or then I don't have to sing it by myself. Uh, through everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. 
and a time for every purpose under heaven. Yeah. A time, yeah, there's a time to be born, that's for sure. So I'm not the only one who remembers that hit. Apparently, it, it reached number one on the Billboard chart. The lyrics by Seeger combined with these words from Ecclesiastes caught the public's imagination and were heard by millions around the world. So much that is here appears simple at first glance. It's a bit deceptive that way, yet it has an inherent intensity to it. Verse 5 says, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. And yet I wonder, is it the same thing when we gather stones on a beach as when we pick up broken pieces of stone from the Berlin Wall? There is a time to love and a time to hate. To hate things such as cancer, such as human trafficking and hypocrisy. A time to embrace and to stop embracing. To embrace a loved one as they die or leave us. Yet ultimately, to stop embracing and to let go. Turn, 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 turn. We turn into each new experience, each new season of life. We barely finish with one when we seem to turn into another. There appears to be three different perspectives to this chapter. The outside, the inside, and what I've named the upside. Have you ever been in a corn maze? I have. If you look at the maze from the outside, from the perimeter, it looks like a harmless cornfield, but it appears very different when you view it from smack in the middle, inside the center, and you try and find your way out. And from the air, the view is different still as you see the entire image of the maze cut into the field. Three different locations lead us to three different perspectives. The idea of three different locations is helpful when interpreting this passage from Ecclesiastes 3. In order to appreciate the wisdom of what the teacher observes, we can see the outside location as a positive perspective, the inside as a bit of a negative perspective, and the upside for the ultimate perspective. In essence, as I read this passage, I see someone searching for balance among extremes. I know that feeling, we all do. From the outside, just taking the text as is, things look pretty safe, they look pretty positive. We find ourselves humming the catchy folk song with confidence, that song and the outside perspective focus on how there are different times for different experiences in our lives. There's a right time to keep on searching for sermon material, and there is a time to give up and shoot hoops with my grandson. When we look at the outside location, we acknowledge the wisdom of all these different times. We challenge the assumption that if we are spiritual enough, we ought to be happy all the time, realizing instead that when we lose someone to divorce, to Alzheimer's or to a miscarriage, it is the right time, the time to weep. Ecclesiastes gives us permission to do that. The tricky thing is knowing which times are which. When someone is dying, when is it the time to speak 
or to stay silent. If a friend betrays you, when is it time to uproot that relationship or to try and heal it? Timing is everything, and knowing when to do what presents us with a bit of a challenge. The point on the outside location is that wisdom affirms the importance of the balance and the discernment of different times and different seasons. As we walk deeper into the text, we surround ourselves with the context which surrounds us wherever we go. Here the world, however, is not so neat or positive. Internally, the author of Ecclesiastes set out, sets out to understand life by exploring pleasure, wealth, work, power, social service, education, creation, and life experience. The teacher wants to know, as American philosopher Peter Kraft put it, how to avoid getting all A's in all of my subjects but still end up flunking life. There is a dull, monotonous awareness presented here. The time is circular with no forward progress. You laugh, then you weep, and then you laugh again. You tear down to build up, only to tear down again. Time is a spiraling maze turning back on itself, leading to nowhere, just an endless repetition. The text throws up its hands in verse 9 and says, what do we gain from any of this? Is it all just meaningless? So where does this leave us? Flopping ourselves down in the corn maze of life under a burden of despair? No, indeed not. For then comes the upside. For in verse 10 we read, I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. God has made everything beautiful in its time and also has set eternity in the human heart. In the humdrum activity of everyday living, you and I feel the ticking of the eternity clock within us, the search for meaning in the mundane, in the known. We must remain open to exploring our part in God's plan, no matter how mundane things appear to be. As things will happen, our part in God's plan will happen in God's time. As we enter 2023, let us not forget that the eternity clock is ticking within each of us. We wonder, how are we able to make space for the highs and lows of living, space for war and peace, mourning and dancing, reaping and sowing, in ways that are life-giving and empowering. For this, my friends, is the question. Now, let us go and find the answer. Amen? Amen. God, we are grateful for the, for the gift, gift of, of your dear, dear Son, Son Jesus. Jesus Christ. Receive, we pray, these offerings we bring, 
May they be used in service of your grace and truth dwelling among us. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God of steadfast love, we thank you for all of the blessings we enjoy, the shelter of home and the comfort of family and friends, the companionship of the faithful with whom we celebrate Christ's coming, and for your love, which shines as a light in the darkness. Besides, we offer our thanks and praise. God of mercy, in this holy season, there are people in need of your tender mercies. We pray for those who are ill and for those still recovering, for those whose sadness is made heavier by Christmas. We pray for those who do not have enough food, enough money, enough companionship, or enough hope. Peace on earth. We pray for those in harm's way. Protect them from war, violence, and cruel oppression. For these and many other needs, we offer our intercessions. Let us pray, O Lord. God of hope, as we wait upon your coming realm, fill us with hope. Give us the will to work for justice and peace and the courage to follow you into every place your spirit leads. We thank you for our dreamers and our visionaries who respond with imagination and joy to what you are doing in the church and in the world. All our times are in your hands. We entrust ourselves and those we love to your care. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. God, who gives birth to the world, fill us with your light and help us to usher in your reign of love, justice, and peace here on earth. Tune us to the harmony of the heavens. Teach us to sing your name. Grant us wisdom, hope, and compassion for all living things, and feed us what we need each day. Free us from what binds us as we release others from guilt and shame. Help us to focus on what is good and to do what is right. Teach us how to love. Renew our hearts our minds, our strength, and make us whole and wholly yours. Amen. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you. There'll be shouts of joy, and all the trees of the field will clap, will clap their hands. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. As you go out with joy, you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you. There'll be shouts of joy and all the trees of the field will clap, will clap their hands. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands as you go out with joy. Go out to share the good news 
with a world bent low from suffering and fear has come to help us and to set us free. Amen.